Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the Rams Roundup with the women's basketball team. I'm Chris Strauch with uh, head coach Stephanie Gately. Coach, how are you today? I'm great, Chris. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, you're so one and one to start the year. Um, two road games at Penn State, loss, and at Manhattan. Can you just uh, comment overall what you've seen in your first two games? You know, it's typical with a young team. You're going to have some ups and downs. And, and reviewing both tapes, I thought, you know, I thought we grew from Penn State. You know, uh, in reviewing that tape, I thought we did a lot of positive things. We held our own against them on the boards. And then they played a very, very good Tennessee team on the road and took them, you know, took them right to the wire without the player that killed us, the, you know, the transfer from UConn. I thought we were a little, you know, a little rushed against Manhattan, a little flustered against Manhattan. And that might just be the Battle of the Bronx and just, again, trying to get young kids time. So, as expected, we're just, you know, we're going to be a work in progress. Now, with that game against Manhattan, you guys started out slow. You fought back tight, it took the lead, and then it was actually tied at the end of the fourth quarter. Now, what can you attribute to how you guys were able to pull away? Well, I think Asante Camino came in and gave us some good minutes, you know, just that she made some things happen against the press. For whatever reason, we seemed to really struggle with a very simple press, but again, I think that's youth. Um, and then I think, you know, Jameer's Davis and Sam obviously stepped up with, you know, each having their own double-double. So I think we got some uh, steady play at the point guard play at the, at the, in the fourth quarter, which I think was the difference maker. Now, speaking of Jameer, she's twice she's led you guys in scoring. What have you seen from her this year more in, ter in terms of her looking for her offense? I just think that she's more well-rounded. There's more diversity in her game. I think last year, you know, she was a kid that really had, you know, she said had never been taught a post move. So all she was taught was to run the floor and rebound. And thought she did that pretty well last year. And so we spent a lot of time this summer. And she worked very hard at, to improve her overall game and get a little bit of range on her jump shot and to make herself more difficult to defend. You see her using her left hand, whereas last year she was right-hand dominant. So this year she's been able to put, you know, put the ball on the floor with her left hand. So I think she's harder to guard, and she's a you know she's a very good defender, and she's an outstanding rebounder. Now, in this team also they they're a little bit younger. Do you feel like yourself at practices and even maybe games that you're doing a lot more teaching than you maybe normally have done in the past? Um, yeah, a lot more than since I, even since I've been here. I think that, you know it's just this is a very young group. They're very young, and they're also very immature, you know, in a lot of ways. It, it, when I mean that, I mean as far as basketball, that you know these kids are coming from being very, very good high school players and stars, and all of a sudden they're expected to be more well-rounded and understand all the basic details. Like, we're very detailed-oriented. They were never demanded of that in high school. So it's a big learning curve for them. So I think that's, you know, with, the, with having a difficult schedule and with having so many inexperienced freshmen, that's not a great combination. So I find myself watching a lot of tapes to try to teach them and just try to, trying to be as patient as possible um, in practice. And it's just, again, the goal is just to get better every day. Tuesday night is your home opener against Lafayette, and then after that, you're going to go out to Las Vegas and play both Texas Tech and Syracuse. Uh, if you can talk about what fans might see with those two, those three opponents. Lafayette is a very, very well coached team. You know, Teresa Grenz is one of our former Olympic coaches who's coaching that team, and um, they have not won, but they've been in every game that they've played. Um, you know, they're, they're led by a very, very good point guard. Um, they play very well together. They, they just haven't been able to rake in the win column. Um, as far as Texas Tech, very athletic, very athletic, put a lot of pressure on the ball, um, deny everything. Uh, Syracuse is the typical zone, but big and athletic. And you know, obviously we had our hands full last year against them. You know, but, you know, I like the opportunity of playing these type of teams on a neutral court because, you know, if you can hang around and just stay disciplined, and that's the goal, stay disciplined, get a good shot in every possession, make them earn something, you know, make them earn a shot. Same with Penn State. It was a five-point game with 2.42 to go. If you hang around, anything can happen. So our goal is to, you know, stay in the game, you know, and be able to, you know, steal one on the road and protect our home court against Lafayette. Well, Coach, uh, that'll do it for this edition. We appreciate the time you've given us, and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Chris. Go Rams. Hope to see everybody at the doubleheader. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, inside the Rose Hill Gym.